neem not in Delft, but I'm in Amsterdam. There's the Stu Stampede gathering here. And Steve Denning is here, so ask him to talk with me. And that's what I'm going to do. Okay, Steve, thanks for sitting with me today. Um, we're here in Amsterdam at the Stu's gathering. How does it feel to be here? I'm excited that uh, in January there were 21 people, now we've got 100 and there are a thousand people registered on the network. This is a movement which is uh, spreading and uh, it's dynamic, it's exciting and uh, I'm thrilled to be here. What, what's the driving force of the movement? Why does it go so rapidly? Why is it increasing so fast? Well, I think there's a huge set of factors. Uh, that it's, first of all, people are frustrated with the uh, very bad way in which organizations are managed these days. Uh, they're excited by the possibility that there is another way, that we know how to do things differently. Uh, the economics is driving it. This is happening inexorably. I like what's happening, uh, but it's going to happen because uh, the economic forces will make it happen. So all of these things are uh, this accelerating phase change, a, a new world is opening up in front of us. And, and how would you call this, this, this new era? How would you call this new phase change? Well, people have different names for it. Uh, uh, Roger Martin at uh, Toronto School calls it the customer capitalism. Uh, Ranji Gulati at Harvard Business School calls it reorganizing for resilience. Uh, John Hagel and John Seeley Brown call the power of pull. Uh, I call it radical management. It's different. It's radically different. It's a different goal. It's a different way of managing. It's a different way of communicating, a different way of coordinating work, different set of values. Everything is different. Changes everything in the organization. A different way of thinking and speaking and acting in the world. Everything is different. And uh, do, do companies have a choice? No. <laughs> what, what? It's uh, the light. They like the customer or die, is what I say. Unless you're in this mode, unless you're agile, unless you're innovating continuously, uh, you're not going to be around. So the choice is you want to be around or you want not to be around. That's, that's the basic. Surviving is not obliged. No, it's not, it's, uh, it's not guaranteed. It's, it's, uh, it's, I mean, they, 50 years ago, if you were a big company and you were sitting on a market share, I mean, you, you could look forward to a fairly long and prosperous life. That's all changing. The life expectancy of uh, big firms, uh, Fortune 500, is now less than 15 years and these accelerating rapidly, soon be five years. So these uh, firms are uh, going out of business faster and faster. By 2020, half of the current Fortune 500 simply won't be around. It will be more if they don't uh, adjust to this new economic reality, this new world, this exciting new world that's opening up in front of us. But, but we see this new economic reality, we see yeah. this, this, this change, companies see it, of course they see that the customer uh, demands, let's say, uh, good service, uh, fast reply, as easy as my iPhone. So but then when they realize this, you know, and you could give, 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 give people one advice, what should they do? What's, what's their main takeaway when they see the movement but they need to come to action? What would you advise them? Three words, delight the customer. That's, that's the, the core, the key to everything. Uh, everything flows for that. Everyone in the organization needs to be asking, how is what I am doing delighting the customer? How is what I am doing adding new value to customers? How is what I'm doing getting that value to customers sooner? When you have everyone in the organization doing that and you systematically eliminate everything that isn't contributing to that, you have companies that are much more agile much more profitable, much better for the customers, and much, much more fun to work in. You have very different kind of organizations. So the, the new bottom line for the next century is the light of the customer. Exactly. And measure. And this only works if you measure it. And what's wonderful is that we already have uh, 25 years of research showing how to measure the light of the customer, the net promoter score, Fred Reichelt's wonderful work. That lays the basis for making this the new bottom line of organizations. The new bottom line of organizations. Yes. Thank you very much, Steve. Thanks for the inspiration. I'm going to write about it. Thanks for your time. Thank you. Steve Denning is already a long time on my list to interview for this blog, vlog series. So now at the Stow Stampede here in Amsterdam, I got the opportunity. Well, Steve is a great source of inspiration. He has his blog on Forbes, which I, I read daily, and he, every day he has a new post, which is a great source of inspiration. 
But it's book radical management all puts it together and, and, and advise you to, to, to buy that and read that and, and, and also bring it to your manager because it's, it's a, a new guide for the C-suite. Because delighting the customer is the new bottom line for organizations. Because if you are successful in delighting the customer, profit, stakeholder value, etc., will be a fact. In the last 10, 20, 30 years, we thought that that was the goal, making a profit, that, that shareholder value was the, the, the bottom line of the organization. But we're now learning that it should be customer delightment. And if we do that and put that in all practices, I think those companies will survive. So the new bottom line of the organization, delighting the customer, making that measurable and your company will survive and flourish. This video blog is sponsored by ProAwareness. And uh, Frans, have you taped it? Yeah, really, it's a wrap. And what do you think about it? Well, this uh, delighting the customer reminded me of the weekend. Uh, Why? Well, I tried to delight my mother-in-law. Your mother-in-law, okay. I visited her in the hospital. In the hospital? Yeah. Is she, she hurt or...? Yeah, well, she hit the church tower, flying on a broom. 